My name is Steve Musto and I'm Head of Environmental Planning at WIG. I'd like to deliver today a video abstract of my new paper that's just been published in Impact Assessment and Project Appraisal, which is a Taylor & Francis journal. The paper looks at water impact assessments in the UK and how the new European EIA Directive from 2014 is likely to affect WIA practice, water impact assessment practice, uh, in the UK. In order to undertake the research, I carried out various elements. One was to review the EIA directive itself and to look at the key changes relating to WIA. I also looked at the consultation process that was ongoing at the time in the UK and how that could affect WIA. Um, I also looked at the various guidance in the UK that relates to WIA and related that back to any gaps that might link into the new requirements from the new regulations. And finally, I reviewed eight environmental statements carried out for a range of development types by a range of consultants and reviewed the WIA sections of those environmental statements. The key findings were, first of all, that quite a few of the new elements of the EIA regulations are already fairly well covered. So, for example, in relation to major accidents and disasters, flood risk assessment picks that up quite well in most cases. However, I did spot some key gaps. Um, one of those was in relation to competent experts. None of the environmental statements that I reviewed included the, the names of who carried them out or any details on, on competency. Also, um, the way in which health assessment was covered in the WIAs uh, was quite weak and low level, and the conclusion there was that more detail would be required. Finally, another key finding was that in relation to links into other directives, including the Water Framework Directive, the current guidance in the UK is not very detailed in relation to WFD, Water Framework Directive, assessment. So that could be strengthened and also it could be made clearer how it should link into WIA. So I'm hoping that the paper will be of use to practitioners of WIA and wider EIA and also to those involved in developing guidelines and assessing the quality of EIA and WIA in the UK. Brexit could have some implications down the line, but at the moment the EIA regulation has been transposed, so any changes aren't likely to come about for a year or two. So I hope the paper will be useful and I hope you'll get a chance to read it.